Porthcourt, South Wales. Beautiful seaside town in the Master of Peace, part-time eBay reseller. Last time I was down here, it was like mid 30 degrees. It was July, it was boiling hot. It is not like that today. Wind's picking up, a little bit chilly. The reason we come down here today is not for the beach, it's we've got an amazing Facebook marketplace to pick up to make. And I'll show you that later. Loads of retro action figures, really cool toys. I've agreed to pick that up after lunch, so we've got a bit of time to kill. Let's hit some charity shops. And last time in the charity shops here, we found some decent bits. It's pretty pricey, but we got a good pair of roller skates, some sealed vintage matchbox cars, and an old school real wood train set with a real retro random Japanese bullet train that sold for a silly amount. Let's get out this wind, let's get in the charity shops and find some bargains to free sell on eBay. Just having a glance over the mugs. Look at this one. Tinkerbell. Disney store. And then right next to it we've got Winnie the Pooh. Sweet Honey Day Disney store. So we get those two. And at the back look. Wolf's Cornetto. Musical. Only for a pound. For 1986. That's going to drive us nuts all day. But we're going to get it. Let's have a look. That's a Paw Patrol chase in there. £6.49. Remote control car, no weight to it. £8.99. Fortnite figures, four quid. There won't be anything in there, boys. A pair of sketches on the go here. No, the soul's pretty worn, isn't it? How much are they? Six quid? Nah, not, not for that soul wear. Trinity Church Bargain Corner. Let's have a look. Lots of bits of brick a brack random toys. We did find this box full of, well, they look like My Little Ponies, but don't have that any Hasbro mark or any distinctive features on the bottom. They do say 1981. There's no way that's made in 1981. So no, we will be leaving those. What's that? Have a look at this here. We've got a Maisto. Remote control Land Rover lifeboats on the side. Yep, you found this, this one. I like the look of it. There's hardly any listed and hardly any sold. There's a brand new one sold for about 30 quid. But turn it over, look. You can see around the edge of the battery compartment. That's battery leakage. Is it worth the risk? You know, if I take that out, can I clean it out or is it corroded too much? Does it work? Don't know. We'll, we'll get a price for it anyway, we'll get a price. Right, so we didn't get the Land Rover in the end. They wanted a bit too much for that, but what did you find there? Cookie cutters. Cookie cutters, but they are Lion King cookie cutters. Silver spoon ones, three in there. They were only 50p. Well, there's Simba there. Solds on these look pretty promising, actually. You know, not like massive amounts, but well worth picking up. But we got to bake some biscuits first to try them out. Little box down here full of dolls. Monster High doll doesn't have articulated joints, but that is definitely Monster High doll. That's in here. Pick that one up as well. And another Monster High doll. Three Monster High dolls, plenty of accessories. That one's got the boots. Another good little bundle here, though. Stephen King, it. Dreamcatcher. Peter Straub. And there's another three up here. Four past midnight, Pet Cemetery, and the Tommy Knockers, all paperback. But as a bundle of six books, whether it be paperback, hardback, old, new, doesn't matter. Six great stories for a Stephen King collector. And this one could be a goer here. Look, Dennis Wheatley. The devil rides out. The, to the devil, a daughter. Jeez. Some scary books there. I've seen on eBay sold to this for about 12 quid all in, and that's from the world of books. Could be worth picking up, even though it is in pretty poor condition. So at the top here, we've got a basket of dolls. Lots of these DC ones. But tucked away in here are a few Barbies and older ones as well. All of them are a couple of quid each. Cute as a button with pyjamas, shadow air cut. That looks okay. I haven't really 
bought too many Barbies before, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up a couple to do the research. So we ended up picking two Barbies here. I like the one on the left, you know, that is, I recognize that um, monkey logo there. And then this was another 1998 where it has a lot of accessories and the shoes. For two quiddies, you're not gonna lose money on them. So, Facebook Marketplace pickup, 50 quid. I paid for this whole box. Ignore the stuff on top. She has just thrown in a few extra bits. She just wanted to clear some stuff out. So she's put like some Tonka trucks on the top. Big Asda value transformer. The fun stuff is when we get, hang on. Power Rangers, SPD police. Didn't know that existed. Spider-Man car. The fun stuff though is all the figures at the bottom. You can see there's Transformers, Ghostbusters, Power Rangers, Scooby-Doo, Turtles. There is absolutely tons in here. Marketplace pickup done. Can't wait to get home and show you through it. But on the way back to Cardiff, we're gonna stop off in Cowbridge. Nice old fashioned Welsh village, plenty of history around it, and a few charity shops too. Poppies are out. Christmas decorations up as well. Leap pad, learning system. So we've got four games in there. One, two, three, four books. And in here is Leap Pad plus writing with the pen. Looks pretty good. A little bit frustrating about that Leap Pad system. It didn't have a price on it, or maybe it did, but the price had come off. They were unwilling to sell it to me because they didn't want to undersell it. So they were phoning around lots of different shops trying to get a manager to give them a price over the phone. No one was picking it. The value of it is about 20 quid. I mean, I offered them a tenner there and there, wouldn't accept it. So. They said pop back in 10 minutes when they've, get, when they've got a price. I don't know if I will. I, I will, see. But anyway, we did find this in that shop. Vintage Care Bears warm feelings for only two quid. They underpriced this because this is worth about 15 plus postage if all complete. So it was worth popping in that shop. Have a look at this. Marvel's Mightiest Heroes Collection. Pound each. It's not the complete set. And some of them have been opened, but there are sealed ones. I'm gonna get it. I mean, there are some the same. Look, they're the same, so I'll only get one. That's brilliant. Always look up at the top shelf. Chaddy Pete always used to say that. Always keep an eye on the top shelf. Tucked away, look at these. Some Nike Air 200, UK size nine. Love the condition of them. They're 15 quid. But you know what, the other one is already on my foot. I do need a new pair of gym and running trainers. These would be absolutely perfect. So even if I don't go on to sell them, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. So check out this Marvel graphic novel bundle. Mixture of pre-owned, outside the wrap, and some still in their wrapper. These are called Marvel Mightiest Heroes, and each book focuses on a different character. Now, there are a total of 130 in the set, and here I've got 49 of them. Chatting to the guy in the charity shop, he originally had these listed three pounds each and was selling them off individually. He didn't have the full bundle to start with, which is a bit of comfort, but a lot of them did sell. So you can see there are gaps in the numbers. There are a few consecutive issues, but the popular titles like Spider-Man, they've obviously all sold. Now he had the rest of these sat around for about a month and didn't want them sitting around any longer. So priced them down to a pound each. And I didn't think that that was too bad. So without doing any research, I just bought the whole stack of them. The sell through rate looks pretty good, about 450 individual copies have sold in the last month, but the prices they're selling for aren't particularly competitive. You're looking at anywhere from a pound plus postage up to about eight pounds plus postage. So to get rid of these, I've got a couple of options. I'm either gonna bundle them up and try and get a couple of quid each, doubling my money, Still, still turns 50 quid into 100 quid. I might stick them all on Facebook Marketplace as one big bundle, maybe for 70 or 80 quid, and just get rid of them all in one hit. What I could do is try and source the missing books and try and complete the set. But if I did that, I think that'd be too much expenditure because I am missing a fair few. One thing that I will definitely be doing is going through and reading some of these titles with my boys, particularly some of their favorite characters, my favorite characters. So we will get a bit of use out of these before I sell these on to someone else. So of course, the first thing we do with a big box of toys, tip them all out on the floor and sort them out. 
but you've got to be prepared if you're buying a family collection of toys there's always going to be broken ones lots of them with hands missing arms missing legs missing this is the actual death pilot look at that pink ranger well and truly gone but then we get into the best bits and i've sorted them out over here so we got some of these larger figures. Now I've sold some of these before, but not for a long time. Star-Lord, Iron Man, not in the best condition. This is a, a figure off of um, Jurassic Park. That one goes for about 10 pounds plus postage. At the top there, didn't realize this was in the bundle, but a nice little surprise, a little PJ Masks set, four characters, four vehicles, should be looking at about 10 F plus postage. There was a load of Power Rangers stuff from the early 2000s, this SPD stuff. This gun, if works, if working, goes for what, six or seven quid plus postage. And in here, we have got about 20 individual figures. Now, the way I've sold these before is just bundle them up and charge a pound each. 20 figures, 20 pound plus postage. Two 1993 Bandai ones. I've got a Black Ranger in the garage to go. Three, the Green Ranger, that one seems to be pretty desirable. They'll go for 10 or 11 quid plus postage. Mixture of Power Ranger motorcycles up there. Need to see if any of those characters match the motorcycles. That might make a nice little bundle itself. Couple of nice vintage Ninja Turtle figures. I always just keep these in, in a box. When I see them, I pick them up and sell them as a bundle. Scooby-Doo villains. That has got to make a nice little job lot. I don't think there's much money in there, but that could be six or seven quid plus postage. Alan Grant, vintage Jurassic Park, worth about five plus postage. And also Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic Four. He's worth about eight quid plus postage. Next up, we've got a lovely little Ghostbusters bundle. Four of the, the main figures there, plus some bad guys there. That's gotta be a tenner plus postage, surely. But what really attracted me to this whole thing, and the reason why I took this gamble, was for the Spider-Man figures. Now this is a Deadpool Spider-Man crossover. Unfortunately, his fingers have broken off. So that's a bit of a dud. And this is a metallic looking Spider-Man from 2003. Again, not the most value. Some of these, if you can get the right ones, the movie ones, you're looking at 20 to 50 quid, depending on, on what they do. This one is at the lower end, maybe 15. And with any bundle like this, you always get a little surprise. And this is the one for me, look at this. What we've got here is a Kenner Batman, but it's got this just amazing cape. It's like a, um, it's like a flying cape. Flick it off the back, there we are, you can glide on in. That cape alone goes for about 15 quid. But that one is gonna go up on the shelf. I used to have that cape, albeit with a different figure, I'm sure, way back in the day. Another little Ken of Batman there with a suit. Ah, and let's not forget movie Batman as well with glider cape. Thing is, his arm is a little bit gammy. It's actually been like tied back on with string. That could be a £10 plus postage figure. So it is going to take a bit of work. 50 quid on reflection was probably a bit much. But if some of those weren't broken, if the Spider-Man's paid off... It would be, it would look a lot more promising, but even as we stand, still a nice bundle, still a bit of profit, and I love going through anything like this. So I've had nine sales on eBay Saturday and Sunday. Let me take you through a more first sale. This is a cool backpack. It's a little bit small for me, but this is perfect for a young Pokemon fan to take to school, wouldn't it? Perfect school bag with the three original starters on the top, Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur with a Pikachu in front of a big pokeball what is there not to love about that now i bought this over the summer at a car boot sale and i thought it would sell then new school year end of the summer holidays you've got to have a new school bag haven't you but we've just come off the back of half term in england we're starting it in wales next week so maybe that's just sparked a little bit of interest in it that's gone for nine pounds plus postage and on the theme of pokemon i only picked this up yesterday i was um and an hour whether to keep it or not but i decided to sell it I put my hand up. I thought this was worth a lot more than it actually is. If you can find one of the old original ones, they are worth a ton of money. This one's a newer one, Kanto edition from 2017. I paid a tenner for it, but it is in pretty good condition. 100% complete. It's gone for £18 plus postage. Not the end of the world, but I don't really want to be spending £10 to make a fiver profit. Too much outlay for the amount of profit it makes. Still, it's gone. Nice quick sale. Next up, this is a heavy one. Check this out. This is an Imperia Luso 
kind of pasta roller. You put your pasta sheets in, use the handle, and it rolls through to whatever kind of style you want. I sound like I know what I'm on about, don't I? All I've done is heavy, right? All I've done is I've checked it on eBay solds and judged it against the price I paid. Paid three quid of the boot sale. That's gone for £25 all in. And actually, I don't have the clamp. It should have a clamp. I've got the handle somewhere. Don't have the clamp. So incomplete, still gone for 25 quid. Next up, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, PlayStation 4. Boxes in terrible condition. I do these even come with manuals anymore? I don't think they do. They might have an, like one slip of paper. Either way, it's got the disc. That's the main bit, five pounds plus postage. Two Boppets sold over this weekend. We got Boppet Extreme. That's the one I picked up in Newport for a fiver. And we got Boppet Extreme 2. Bought that at a boot sale, a couple of quid. Now these have gone to different buyers. So when I'm packing these up, I've got to make sure I post the right one to the right buyer. Don't want to get that mixed up. That's gone for 15 quid all in. That's gone for 22 pound 50 all in. That's in pretty poor condition, bit better condition. Good sales. Two Ninja Turtles to show you. Modern ones. This one's called Metalhead and this one's called Fish Face. Great names, aren't they? Those two together have gone for £5.50 plus postage. Not a massive amount of profit, but when you're paying 50p each for them, somewhere like that, you know, you, you don't mind. You don't mind just having cool items like that up on the store, giving your store a bit of a variety. Another thing I picked up yesterday, and shout out Pete. Pete has already bought some stuff off me before, saw the Smurfs, jumped on, had to buy them. So Pete, thanks ever so much for the support. Now I paid a fiver for these. I sold them for just a bit more, not much more. Some of these old Schleck ones, these are from the mid eighties, can be worth a fair whack of money. I checked each one of these individually. Unfortunately, these aren't, but still they make a nice little bundle. And Pete, if you want to sell them off, there's still a little bit of meat left on the bone for, uh, with, with those, but yeah. For me, really, that's just a free bit of research done with a little bit extra to spare. Final sale to show you. Um, I, I could have left it on like a more interesting one, but this is it. Wallace and Gromit heat changing mug. Put hot water in it and his nose changes red. Type of thing you'd see in the charity shop, just up on the shelf, 50p a mug. That's gone for nine quid, all in. So it's Monday lunchtime, and usually my Monday lunch times would be spent queuing at the post office posting all of my weekend orders. Not today though, today I'm down at Cardiff Met Gym getting my workout in. The reason I can now do this is because I've switched from posting with Royal Mail to posting with Every. And there's a drop-off center really close to me, that's 24 seven, so I actually posted all of my parcels late last night. And I'm gonna be trying this for the next month at least. There's a lot of disruption with Royal Mail, a lot of strike action coming up, and November is usually my busiest time on eBay throughout the year. So I need to make sure that my customers get their items when I say they're gonna get them. And at the minute, I just can't rely on Royal Mail to do that. The reason why I chose Every as well, again, that flexibility. I can post them whenever I want to. But the majority of my parcels are under a kilo. And posting with every is 50p cheaper than Royal Mail. To put that in context, since the beginning of April this financial year, I've spent nearly two and a half grand on postage. So any bit of saving I can make on that is gonna help my business. So I will keep you posted with how I get on with every. If I have a good experience this month, it might mean that I'm sticking with every for the duration. Sales Monday and Tuesday have just exploded. But then again, it's the first of November and November's always the busiest month for me. So it's great to see that they're starting off like this. Let me take you through them all. First up, shout out Ryan Marsden. What a legend. Long time subscriber of the YouTube channel and he's bought a fair bit of stuff off me for his personal collection before. Five Harry Potter Funko Bops this time. Check these. First up, Harry Potter number 42. Hermione Granger number three. Another Harry Potter number 55 with that strange little vegetable thing. Can never remember what it's called. Severus Snape. And my personal favorite, the Dementor. He looks creepy, look at that. Amazing. So thanks again, Rai. What I'll do is I'll pack these up nice and tight, stick them all in the same box, and I'll be off to you tomorrow. Next up, we've got a bundle of Paw Patrol figures. Now, I've been making little bundles like this of, of various popular children's TV shows. This is the last one to go. And we've got Ryder and his quad bike and five of the little Paw Patrol pups. There, 15 pounds, all in. Next up, we've got a rescue bot. This is Hot Rod. My son found this. 
There he is there. 50p in the charity shop. That one's gone for a tenner, all in. Spice Girls key ring, four pounds plus postage. This is a nice little sale. Going on the global shipping program to Hungary. PlayStation 2 version of Hot Wheels beat that. It's got the manual inside. The disc is pretty scratched, but it does play. So that one has gone for £10 plus postage. A couple of model aeroplane sets now. Look at this. Really old battered box. I've sellotaped the ends just so the bits don't come out. This is a Aeronav de Mexico plane. That one sold for 25 quid plus postage. There's not much to it. It's a pretty basic set, but it's got a unique livery to it. That's going on the global shipping program over to America. And this one is going on the global shipping program over to Mexico. I would have thought they would have bought the other one. I've got to check that actually, make sure I haven't got that mixed up. I'm sure I haven't though. This is a Skyline model, but I did throw in some extra decals in there um, as well. That one's gone for 30 pounds plus postage. Nice box, easy to pack. Some clothing sales to show you now. We've got a pair of UK size five Air Force Ones. These didn't go for as much as I'd hoped for, and I've had these listed up for ages. Reasonable condition, little bit of denting on the front there. They've gone for £19 plus postage. Took an offer on those because they have been hanging around for a while. Picked this one up in Newport last Wednesday. John Smith's cotton cap. Surprised that there wasn't many John Smith's hats online. But then again, is that actually a surprise? Any John Smith beer memorabilia collectors might be interested in that. Oh, it's just a nice cap. It's gone for £8.50, all in. This is a nice coat. Ladies, size 10, Berghaus, Gore-Tex lined. It's called a Pack Light, lightweight rain jacket. I actually bought this for, for my wife. I paid a tenner for it in the charity shop, but she actually has got a ton of coats because every time I buy coats, I always give her first refusal. And she's probably got three or four upstairs that she'll never actually wear. This one has gone for 40 quid, all in. Nice sale pack. A couple of jigsaw sales now, and shout out Karen. Message me after my last video when I showed some bits that I picked up from the charity shop. She wanted this brand new and sealed Christmas scene jigsaw. She's getting in the Christmas mood. Karen, thanks ever so much for supporting the YouTube channel and the eBay store. Really nice jigsaw. We've attempted to actually keep that and do it ourselves because my wife does like doing jigsaws and when i come across a nice picture or a picture i think she'll like i tend to pick them up this was the last one i picked up for her i pay 50p or a pound in the charity shop disney um, classic collection snow white she enjoys doing them it's a good way to check all the pieces are there that one's gone for nine quid all in and the final sale to show you we've got this brats laptop it's not like a laptop laptop it's kind of one of those laptops where you've got loads of set games. It's a way of practicing your spelling, practicing your typing, that type of thing. Totally designed for kids, as you would imagine a Bratz laptop would be. But I was surprised by how much value this actually had. Now, I paid a couple of quid at the boot sale over the summer. It has been a slow seller. Sold once, ages ago. The buyer never paid for it. Worth the wait, though, now. Global shipping program over to America. 25 quid. All in. So yeah, like I said, that's Monday and Tuesday. It's been a busy start to the month and long may that continue. And there we are. I think we found a new home for him. Lurking in the shadows. Up there. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We'll go out next Wednesday and do some more charity shop hunting. See if we can find some bits for the collection or some bits to resell on eBay. This evening, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be on eBay, aren't I? Looking up all the different Kenner variants of Batman figures, the different designs, the different accessories. I can see me putting a few bids in, making a few cheeky offers. I can see that being my next little collection. Wish me luck.